four years ago, I played against Chaspra on a live stream. My rating was 1600, which is a lot lower than it is now, but I didn't get crushed. Surprisingly, <laughs> the game started e4, I have the white pieces, d5, and I get to trade the queens early. So the computer says that I'm making mistakes left, right, and center, but I got the queens off early. And this, bearing in mind, this is a three minute game, so I just have to try not to get outplayed here. And I feel like I can do a pretty good job. You know, I get my pieces out, I get castled. Obviously, my opponent is a you know pretty good GM. So it's it's chess bra. It's um a man, not Eric. It's a man. Um, I tried to find the vod for it, but I couldn't find it unfortunately. But yeah, uh, he plays h6, looking for g5. I play h4, stopping that. Even at sixteen hundred, I understood that. So I'm pretty pleased with myself. Uh, knight gf6, knight d4, attacking the. Uh, Attacking the bishop. Bishop h7. Here we go, bishop d2. I think that I wanted f4. Because otherwise I don't understand why I'd play that. Bishop c5. Then I go bishop e3 because I decide, oh shit, I've got to defend my knight. Uh, so queenside castle. Knight b3. Offering a trade of bishops. Bishop retreats. Bishop f3. Just developing. King b8. Rookie one. And my position's alright, you know. Like, I don't have a bad position here. I really don't. Rookie A, it's it's looking drawable. I go knight e4, because obviously I just want to trade the pieces, right? Like, I just want this. Because, like, I just want a draw, obviously. I'm not trying to win. So... A man's not going to make it that easy for me. I was attacking his bishop, so he retreats. I play knight bc5, again offering some kind of trade and lending a bit of support to my knight. Knight d5, takes, takes, and then I put the other knight on c5, which is kind of a nice outpost. Then I take the knight, because the knight was threatening my bishop. Which wasn't a great move. I kind of just gave away the bishop pair for no reason. I could have just dropped the bishop back, but I think uh, here I have check anyway. I was 1600, all right? Leave me alone. Uh, but I do manage to open up the file to trade the rooks off, and I attack his pawn. So g5 is played, which it just blunders this, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oh wow, there is a knight to d7 check. And it's an untakeable. <clears throat> and if the king goes there, take, take, knight f6 forks, and rook h8, takes, takes, rook h1. Wow. And if the king goes to c8, same thing, right? Whew. I had a winning position against a grandmaster and a man, Hamilton, at that, of chess bra. But I missed that, and I dropped the bishop back. I have my eyes more on this to win back the pawn if he takes me. Well, I assume so. This was four years ago. 2020 was four years ago. Mad. Anyway... Bishop f6, rook moves, and here I don't do this. Oh, yeah, because of rook here, and then I'm losing the g2 pawn. So instead, I play g3 so that it's not hanging. It does allow g4 though, which kind of locks my pawn, bring my king into the center. I look to double up, takes, takes, I get a trade. We're getting the pieces down here. This is looking doable. Rook e7, infiltrating, d4. I drop the knight back to reroute it. To f4. 
And here I'm happy because I get opposite coloured bishops, which should be a draw. And I actually do get opposite coloured bishops. And it's completely drawn endgame. And my and a man is on five seconds, but this is where being a grandmaster and being chess bra comes into play because even though I win a pawn, I then for some reason just let the pawn hang. I think I was just very nervous. I start putting the pawns on dark squares, but then I just let his king in. I'm shuffling my king, but I just let him in. And here, here I can't save the pawn, because if I go, if I move my bishop to defend it, he's going to take this pawn. <clears throat> so I mess up, and he takes the pawn. He also, in time trouble, I don't take here, because... I have three seconds, and oh, I actually resigned in this position, but I had a drawing position as a 1600 against Chespra, a grandmaster, but, you know, it, I'm, I'm, despite the fact that I lost what should have been a drawing position, I literally had chances to win. Like, back, when was it, back here, knight d7, or rook takes, rook takes, then knight d7 in the same line with this. Like, I, I had winning chances, and then I also had drawing chances, but I just missed them. But I feel like... I was probably underrated at 1600 at this point, like, there's no way a 1600 gets this close to a draw against the Grandmaster, but the time pressure really kicked in here, and Aman showed why he's a Grandmaster, and an absolute, uh, an, an absolute beast at Blitz, but yeah, that's the video. Um, <laughs> Just thought it was pretty mental that I played Chesbra quite a while ago and just wanted to show you guys uh, the game. And I didn't get absolutely crushed, surprisingly. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be releasing daily videos for at least the next couple of weeks. Most of them more in-depth analyses of classical games that I've been playing recently. Um, because I play in the Birmingham Chess League, which is pretty much weekly classical games in a team format. So if that's of any interest to you guys, please check out some of my other videos. But other than that, have a good one.